الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبيبي في الله فليس بعد كلام الله بعد كلام الله استقوا ولا انفع ولا اجمع لخير الدنيا والآخرة من كلام رسوله وخليله محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم إذ هو أعلم الخلق وأستقم حديثا وأعظمهم نصحا نصحا وأرشادا وأبلغهم بيانا وأحسنهم تعليما وقد أوتوا جوامع كلم واختصار له كلام اختصارا Allah, that there is no speech which is more truthful and more beneficial and containing more goodness in this life as well as the hereafter than the speech of Allah Azzawajal and the speech of his messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was the greatest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and the most truthful in speech and the greatest in giving advice and guidance and the most articulate in clarifying the manners and matters that we need to benefit ourselves in this life as well as the hereafter. And he was given the Jawam al kalam which is that he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what he said, he had many statements, his ahadith and actions and so forth. And many of his statements were very short. Many ahadith you'll find that are very short. And full of meaning and benefit. This is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And with that, ahabit tifillah, we have to look at something when we talk about ahadith collections. And we have to know that ahla bid'ah and ahla sunnah both benefit and make ta'zeem of ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And from those important collections of uh, ahadith is the book Riyadh al-Saliheen by Allama al-Zahid Abi Zakariya Yahya ibn Sharf al-Nawawi rahimahullah ta'ala. And this book by Imam al nawawi one of the A'immat uh, al-Deen, should never ever be belittled for its benefit. And we have to realize that this book in its bab, in its, uh, in its place, in the religion and in the Islamic sciences, especially regarding manners, Manners and Ibadah is one of the greatest books. And this is why the ulama throughout time after the time of Imam Nawawi have explained it. Ahlul Sunnah and Ahlul Bid'ah. And yes, Jama'at Tabliq, they spend their time in the Masajid reading Riyadh Salihin. And in fact, this is great. This is something good. This is something excellent that we should all be doing. The problem is, is what? With Jama'at Tabliq, not with this great book of Adab and this book of also Ibadah. And Ibadah what? It includes the inward Ibadah, which is a part of Tawheed. Imam Manoah, we had the chapter, Bab al-Ikhlas, the Bab of sincerity. You and the sincerity, what, it, what is Ikhlas? What is Ibadah? What is Ihsan? All of these are acts, these are all inward acts of Ibadah. And they involve the heart. Which you can't have those Ibadah, uh, ibadah on the limbs without the Ibadah of the heart. So we should never belittle it. 
just the fact that they use it. But in fact, we need to know and understand that this book is Azim. And this book contains the Ahadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which we can never underestimate. And the ulama from the Salaf, from our Salaf, up until now, continue to explain, continue to, to teach and preach in the Masajid. But what we find with the groups like Jamaat al Tabliq is that they just read Hadith and it's as if they tafawwud al Amr, that they don't give any explanation as if, you know, as if they don't know the meaning. They don't really use and benefit from it and teach the people because often many from amongst them are not people of knowledge. They're not their tulab al ilm. Although, yes, they have tulab al ilm, they have dar al ulum. And they have people who have went through many books in the sciences of Islam. But their benefit, because they are with this jama'ah and the bid'ah and the aqidah, i'tiqad that they uh, gained, or the i'tiqad that they possess, or the i'tiqad that they have, only harms them and does not gain them true benefit. Because it's not based on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. So I advise myself and my brothers and sisters to benefit from this great book. That whenever you have the chance to sit in the gatherings where the people are reading it and explaining it or giving at least some sort of small benefit from it, then do so. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless Imam Noah with Jannah to Firdaus. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that when a person dies, his deeds cease except for three. The Prophet Sallallahu said that when a person dies, three things, uh, everything ceases except for three. He leaves behind three. Beneficial knowledge that people benefit from. Continuous charity or a righteous child that supplicates on his behalf. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.